I created a star shape and I'm trying to cut it out from polystyrene. But not just any polystyrene, this is hard polystyrene. You see it? It's very dense. Uh, I set both the temperature and speed parameters to 500. Okay, let's see what happens. I try to cut this hard polystyrene and right away you can tell the temperature setting is too low. Look at the wire. See how it's wavering? It's not hot enough so the wire doesn't move smoothly through the material. It's bending and not advancing properly. What should be a star? Look at the jagged edges. This happens because the wire can't heat the polystyrene enough. You understand? A temperature setting of 500 is too low and a speed setting of 500 is too fast for this kind of material. Uh, the result, the cut isn't good. The wire doesn't have enough time to cut properly. So now I'll increase the temperature setting to S1000, the maximum available, and reduce the speed to 200. I save the CNC file and start the cutting. Now the temperature setting is very high and the speed is very low. Look at the thickness of the cut. The cut is definitely cleaner and the edges are good, but the cut thickness is too big. So this isn't ideal either. Next, I adjust again, lower the temperature to 800. I have two options, either increase speed or lower temperature. Let's try this first and save. Checking now, the cut thickness is still too big, so I increase the speed to 500. Hoping this works, speed 500, temperature 800. I run the program again. Uh, but no, the star didn't come out well, so I try once more, back to the maximum temperature setting, 1000, and keep the speed at 500, which is about 50 centimeters per minute, which is about 50 centimeters per minute. Finally, look here, the cut is clean, the edges are perfect, and the thickness is just right. This is the ideal setting for this type of polystyrene, temperature S1000, speed 500. Sometimes you need to waste a bit of material to find the right settings, but in the end, it's worth it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.